Dummies vs Noobs is certainly a strange game, but it's an extremely fun one nonetheless. It's a wave-based, class-based game, and it feels like a combination of two of my other favorite Roblox games of all time, Decaying Winter and Noobs vs Zombies Realish. And this game really does wear those inspirations on its sleeve, which I think is a great thing. But I'm not here to tell you about the gameplay or anything like that, you saw the title. Today, we'll be diving into the lore and storyline of this game. Because just like the aforementioned two games, Dummies vs Noobs is filled to the brim with lore and backstory for each of its characters, bosses, and worlds. All just itching to be explained. So strap on in friends, and be sure to like and subscribe, because we are extremely close to 10,000 subscribers and it would be a genuine dream come true to reach that milestone. So without further ado, let's dive into the dark, deep lore of Dummies vs Noobs. Before we begin, like with my Zombies vs Noobs video, I think it's important to first introduce all of these games' factions and races so that we can get a better understanding of who these people are. First up, we have the Dummies. They are our protagonist group who live in the nation of Domina, a country located on the eastern continent of Erexy. The Dummy Society is characterized as highly militaristic and expansionist, with a nationalistic population and a very high grasp on the concept of warfare and agriculture. We see that they aren't exactly the best when it comes to robots and tanks and all that other stuff, but we see that they have the technology to literally create conventional weapons and ammo for said weapons out of thin air. While their armies are small, they are quite capable and durable compared to the noobs and the other factions, and overall, they are a force to be reckoned with. Their society appears to be modeled after pre-World War II Japan, modern Russia, and a bit of Great Britain. Next up we have the noobs who hail from the Republic of Nusia, on the western continent of Elison. They are described as a formerly defense-oriented country turned military powerhouse, with a military budget so high that they are able to recruit thousands of soldiers and create lots of highly advanced robots, mechs, tanks, planes, and much, much, much more. Their military prowess and presence is only matched by the dummy. However, even they often struggle due to the sheer number of noobs. Their geographic, political, and social situations seem to be modeled after the USA, albeit a much more extreme and violent version, and adding a few Russian elements to the mix. The AARG, or Republic of Gessia as I'm calling it, are a third and much less discussed nation in the world of DVN. Their country is located directly below Nusia, and is just a giant desert. They do not have much of a military presence at all due to their nationwide I guess stereotype of being very individualistic and isolationist. Guess are, however, a vital part of the crop and steel industries, which are used to fuel the war engines of the more militaristic factions. They were caught up in a civil war for a really long time before the events of the game due to Nusian forces kind of taking over the country for a bit, but for now they seem to have come to a conclusion over that whole conflict. Overall, their countries and politics seem to be modeled after a mix of Mexico and Taiwan. Finally, there's the Bayesian Union, which was the most unimportant race in the world of DVN. They were formerly a bunch of mindless tribes fighting over land with no loyalties, but slowly over the years they became more united. They eventually unified under one flag, and due to this, their nation was extremely tightly knit. The Bacon Society appears to be modeled after various different societies, African and Asian tribes mostly, with some Roman and Japanese inspiration sprinkled on top. But despite this, they appear to have unified into a united federation of sorts. But unfortunately, they all died out before the events of the game, and are considered extinct. Oh yeah, and there's also this Chinese knockoff of dubious canonicity, which will never be mentioned again, but its name and other statistics are really funny, so I just wanted to put it. Anyways, that took a while, so uh, no more jargon. Let's actually jump into the timeline of events now. Our story begins long, long ago with the creation of the Baseplate. The Baseplate was the land on which the world of DVN takes place, and for a long time it was a place of peace and prosperity. However, one day the Baseplate mysteriously unanchored itself, causing it to sink. It's kind of unclear if the sinking of the plate was instantaneous or gradual, but it caused global tensions to rise between the East and the West. With the sinking of the Baseplate came the weakening of the Bacons and their subsequent extinction. The dummies, with their expansionist ideals, took over the Bacon's land, and the entire eastern continent of Erexy became theirs. 
Between 1967 and 2039, lots of things happened. Too much to go into detail here, but I'll give you the cliff notes. The noobs develop an insane amount of technology following their landing on the moon. Many of the game's bosses are born during this time period. The noobs and guests get into a long cold war turned warm war after the noobs annex the guests' country. Natural disasters and global warming due to the sinking of the base plate make global tensions even higher than ever. The noobs and the guests end their war, and the guests get their land back. However, they are essentially a commonwealth of Nusia now. And finally, in 2039, the two giants of the dummies and the noobs begin to clash. The hyper-militaristic Republic of Nusia, with its immense technology and unfathomable weaponry, versus the hyper-expansion Domino, with their extremely nationalistic, battle-hardened troops, and equally deadly, but less, much less numerous technology at their disposal. The war begins in earnest in 2040, when the noobs create the Platform, a devastating piece of technology that puts the dummies on the offensive. It is one of the hardest enemies to fight in the game for a reason. The actual events of DVN take place in 2044, where an extremely skilled dummy infantry unit known as Stronghold 5-5 comes into the picture. This is the unit the player is part of, and the unit that canonically succeeds in repelling the noob forces time and time again, even after surviving an unending assault after unending assault, and dealing with the seemingly omnipotent mastermind, the group meets its end destroying a Nusian bunker and occupied Domino. The squadron becomes a legend from there on out, and it is unclear how the war plays out after that. However, considering the massive Nusian army, it is not a stretch to say that the noobs ultimately won the war. But is this really how the story ends? Only time will tell. But anyways, I think that's where I'll end things off. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, as we are super close to 10,000 subscribers. Also, comment below if I miss anything. Deviant lore is confusing as heck, and I want to be certain I didn't mess things up. Anyways, see you all next time. Bye.